Hey guys, Coach Kimmy here. So today I want to teach you bangs, right? There's so many different ways to do bangs. I have a swoop over to the left and then a little um, swoop over to my other side. I have like a side curtain bang, right? So I love that this girl has pretty curly hair. We put a beautiful um, curl cream in there and let it dry on its own, right? A lot of people wear it that way. And then we could have blow dried her top. I didn't, but just so you know, you can make it more full. I actually did a video on me this morning. I curled my the top of my hair because last night I just left it, didn't put anything in it, just left it and it was like too crazy. So then I put my Formula 18 leave-in conditioner, which you guys know is the best. That's this. So, so good. It's their number one selling product. Why? Because it has a pH balance in there, 3.5 to 4.5, which our hair in the best, healthiest state is 4.5, 5.5. But because we do color and highlights, I mean, she's all highlighted and she's a mannequin head, but it's real hair. Um, I would just like tomorrow when you when you wake up, you just re-spray this in because it's a, a leave-in conditioner and it has so many good conditioning agents in there you just scrunch it it reactivates the curl cream that's in there originally so this morning and yesterday i didn't even put curl cream in but i just sprayed this in it and scrunched my hair look how pretty it took just a beautiful soft wave if i wanted it curlier i could have put the curl cream in there yesterday like last night slept on it and then this morning it would have been more curly but i like it like this it's a little loose and docile all right so let's talk about bangs all right so there's a couple different ways to do them um, I like for you to see how you want to look like it's right in her eyes, right? So we want, she definitely does it on the side. So you just want to clip some things out of the way and always look, should we do a big part? Where is it falling? Can it be pushed over to the side? You know, like if it was pushed over to the side, would it stay? Cause that's what you have to think of too. Do they have a lot of hair that falls into their forehead? You need to, you know, look and see. So I'm gonna take out this because I feel like that is a good spot right there to trim her bangs. All right, so it's like a triangle over to the side. Okay, and you know in one of my videos I did it for myself and I took them and I twisted it to the side and I did it, but I'm not doing that with this. All right, let me just wet them. Oh, that's pretty short. I use this for my cats when they're not obedient listen it's so funny somebody said how is your cat crazy and wild i said no they're kittens they're fun and but i squirt them all the time because they don't if they're bad i squirt them but then they get good so they're really not crazy and wild because they're so good you gotta spray kittens like or cats if they're bad everybody needs some kind of discipline all right so now i'm gonna look where will this fall naturally so it's gonna go right about here that's where we're gonna, we'll be able to push that over. You're gonna come under that hair. Now, I wanna just teach you some techniques. First of all, if I lift this hair up, you're layering that piece right there. If I push it all the way down and I just cut it right here, it's gonna have a straight line and it will be thicker that way too. So if you want it to be thick, you're gonna do it down. Let me just show you what that would look like. It's not gonna really have too much softness in it. Okay, so it's just really down and that will push over to the side. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other one this way and I like to do this because this is from here going that way. I like to take a piece of this to the other side and then I like to just come down this way. Now she has a little cowlick there, so but it will bend really nice going that way. So this side will go this way, and that side will go that way. And yes, we will blow dry it, but I just wanna show you, I'm gonna let it dry while I do another um, set of bangs. I'll do a different one. I wanna show you when it's done already. All right, here we go. Here's our other girl. Now, first I want you to check somebody's bangs. Let's look at her, she's pretty heavy. Look, it comes all the way from back here to here. So get this out of the way. That'll be a pretty one. And then I'm gonna get this out of the way. I, I would say I still would pull a little bit from over here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna look. Now this is how I love to do bangs, most of all. I like to, if, if it's gonna be to the side, I'm gonna actually take my finger, I lift it up a little, cause I still want a little uh, layer down there. So when you lift, you're elevating, you're making a layer. When it's flat, there's no elevation and there's it's just a straight line. So the more you lift, the more uh, softness you're gonna get on those bangs. So I don't like a ton of it, but I like enough of it so it's soft on those ends. See it like that? Yeah. So now let's just check her bangs. All right, so you could see that we did it right there. Now look at when you pull this down, you know that would be a calic. When you wet them, you have to be very careful. Don't pull hard so it'll pop up. So if you pull them really hard and you cut them right here, they'll be like up here. That's a big mistake. Don't do that. And then I'm going to come down this way. So I would take the first section right here in the middle, right in the middle. I would soften them. Now, listen, I could either elevate them or I could soften them this way too. Just a little bit. And then I would take this side and kind of where her eyebrow goes to the side there, I would literally wrap it around. See, I went straight and then I came around. Perfect. Now I would do this side. And I'm gonna have my fingers down. And then you check it, you see, is it even enough? Is it textured enough? You have to really um, use your thinking mind to think, how does it look, right? How does that look? Well, and you could tell, like I had put layers in there before. Now let me show you if I want to layer that, because I did a lot of layers on her, I would pick this up, because some people like this full in volume, pick that up. And you know, I love to use my little tiny, tiny points. Little, and just make sure it's over the bend. Point, point, point. Make it so it's full. And then I had point cut this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then take the next section. Cause they want a little extra volume in here. Just point cut. And now look at, she's good over here. She needs just a little bit more over here. It's so thick right there. And then it will have more volume in there. Yeah. Like those bangs. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I put the little extra texture. I did one, two, three little extra pieces so this can stay up and have volume. Yeah, and then she has her nice pieces. See, so that's one way. And then when you pull that out, she could still have her long piece, but she has her bangs. There we go. All right, now I want to do one more for you. This is important to see. All right, here we go. Look, you can't even see her face. She needs bangs so bad because otherwise her hair is just going to be hanging in her face. So you want to think, how much do we do? Do we do that much? Get all that out of her face. So, or you do you do a little tiny piece? Let's see what that would look like. Now, this is the thing. It's still going to be covering her face. So I feel like she definitely needs more because of her hairline. So shiny her hair, right? And so uh, slick. Okay, so you could do just a fine thin bang if you want to do that. I just want to show you what that would look like. And you could always try it first, right? It's funny, the other day, one of my girls, she goes, uh, can you come over here? Because the girl had all one length hair and she wanted bangs. And she was kind of afraid, but she really wanted bangs. She wanted them short. So there's a couple different ways you could do this and you could always say, okay, where do you want these bangs to start? Always look, if you pull, does it pop up by itself? So then you're gonna know how much tension to take on that hair for the bangs. 
torso, I would say, you know, you could go to her chin, you can go to her lip, nose, eyes or eyebrow and those are good spots to say okay do you want it eyebrow some people like it very croppy bangs and they have a beautiful face one of one of the, my friends nadia she has the best croppy bangs love her bangs and they're short um alana another one of my girls she has like a straight across bang but it looks great with her face and her style like both of them have such cool styles so it's just fun to see what works on somebody that might not work on you but it's just super cool we want to think find these five places eyebrow eye nose lip chin or it's called decollete like right over here so we'll start here first to see how would you do it if you want to do it here Right? Of course, you know, you could take that. Now it's going to be much stronger. Okay. So you see how rigid that is? So like, because of the hair is so funny. Um, I would always fix that even if I did it because I needed just a start. So I would always go in the middle. I would take this, I instantly would pull it up and I would soften it. So I'm doubly softening it, doubly softening it. And then I would turn it to the side and then I would come down on it. Okay, and then I'll go on the other side. Yeah, she's got so much, it's like such a thick hairline. There's no way. Like this will be sticking right in her face. So guess what? It would not work. I would be like, okay, that is not working. Let's go higher. Because it's just gonna fall on her face and that will not look good. Okay, so now we're just gonna come up higher to her. All right, let's just say if we were gonna do curtain bangs, let's see where her natural hairline falls, which is over to the side. So I'd probably do more, you know what I'm saying? Like I would say, okay, well that fine thin bang doesn't really work with your hairline. This hairline is just falls right in the face. So you really wanna find like, where's the natural part where it lives? It's like really right about there. So I would say really about that much, if we were gonna do bangs. And then that much. And of course you might be like, that's too much, that's scary. Yes, it'll be a little scary for somebody that doesn't do it. So then I do a little bit less. I pull it down here and I would pull it. So it was like, yeah, that much less. Less is better because you can always do more. Okay, and let me just show you how much I'm doing of that. Okay, so I'm doing right from there to there. That's her hairline. And like, let's see those bangs that fell out. Okay, now she could have just a wispy piece, but it would be so much in her face, it just wouldn't, like to me, then I would say, all right, let's do like curtain bangs. Let's try to get it to come up and come down and come up and come down. I'm gonna wet them. Okay. Now, if you're gonna do curtain bangs, there's a couple different ways you could do them. You gotta find what's comfortable for you. All right, I like to take them this way and keep it on an edge. So my finger's straight down, her nose is right there, and I know that this is gonna like swoop over. I am gonna pull it out a little bit. And I feel like this is the best option for her because her hair falls in her face. So once we curl them, it'll be over to the side and it won't be such a drastic like straight line. Unless they like that and it works for them. Like Alana's is, straight, is a straight line. It looks great on her though. Now look at, I'm gonna look, see how my, um, my scissor from, from that point to the bottom. So this way I could just come here
and then that would swoop over that way and now i'll just soften that hair because she's very pokey i want to say this is not real hair because real hair is not this pokey and like silky satiny okay and let's just go here i like to just make it just a little softer Let's see if we can comb it back. See, she's she's so, it's just going forward no matter what. So that's why too, it would be super important. Or you could definitely give her a straight bang. You know what I'm saying? This will definitely blow dry really nice. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get my blow dry and I'm gonna show you this.